to this demonstration of the Amazing Charts Practice Management System. For today's demonstration, we will be looking at the Patient Detail Screen, also known as the Patient Chart. As we've mentioned in previous demonstrations, there are a variety of panes on this screen that will only be visible if there is data present for this patient. For example, the Prior Authorizations pane, re Referrals pane, and Recalls pane. These will only be open if there is data present for the patient. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the screen and we'll start with patient demographics. Now one thing to note because of the integration with the Amazing Charts EHR is that if patient demographics information is updated in the EHR, that data will be passed to the practice management system and vice versa. If you update demographics information in practice management, that will be reflected in the EHR in near real time as the systems are tightly integrated together. Together. If we needed to update patient demographics information, we would click the More link, which is next to all these other action items at the bottom of the demographics pane. To manage patient accounts, we would click the Add Account link. This patient has three active accounts currently. They have a medical account that is their primary Blue Cross insurance. They also have a workers' compensation account. This allows the system to differentiate how visits should be billed. So if a visit is associated with her medical account that has Blue Cross insurance, the claims would be billed to Blue Cross. If a visit is associated with her workers' compensation account, that claim would be billed to her workers' compensation insurance. She also has a third account here that's just a self-pay medical account for any services that the practice provides that neither of her insurance accounts would cover. To manage any of the information about the account, we would click the More link. There's also a way to do manual charge entry, although as we've mentioned before, because of the integration with the Amazing Charts EHR, as visits happen and they're documented in the EHR, the charges will get passed over automatically. So there should be a very minimal need to do manual charge entry, but it can be done. There's also a link here for patient payment entry. We could click the ledger link to view this patient's ledger. We could view their account notes. And this link for add insurance, that's to add insurance for the specific account. We could also click the demand statement to view the patient statement. Or we could click the receipt link to download a patient's receipt showing the current status of their account. I'm going to jump back to the demographics pane here and look at the next action link, which is free care form. Now, free care form and sliding scale is something that we can help set up during the implementation process is if that's something that your practice participates in. The next link is add referral, which we could add a referral for this patient to go see another specialist. We could add a prior authorization. We could add a treatment plan. We could add patient notes, or we could add a recall notice. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here further to look at the next set of panes. The visit history pane shows all the past visits for this patient. It lists what account it was associated with, what case, who the provider was, and then you can see the patient balance and the insurance balance. There are several action links here as well. There's view change, which allows you to edit that visit. You can look at the notes, you could print a receipt, or you could clone this visit. Now cloning a visit is something that could be used as an example in a physical therapist's office where he would see a patient three times a week but provide the same services. So if that visit was set up once, he could then clone that visit as many times as needed and not have to do any re-entry of what services were provided, entering CPT codes or anything like that. The visit could just be cloned automatically. Patient alerts. If there's a patient alert set up for this patient, that would be displayed here. So currently for this patient, they cannot have any additional refills unless they make an appointment to come in and see the provider. The appointments upcoming pane shows visits that are scheduled for this patient. You can click the appointment book link to open the scheduler, or you could click the details link to view the details for this specific appointment. We'll scroll down a little bit further here. Now she has incoming referrals, a prior authorization, and active recalls. All of these can be managed from this pane. You would just click the link for referral number, prior authorization number, or for recalls, we could click view change to view that information. 
Now the patient statement, I'm going to expand that pane to look at that. They have a statement with an open balance that was associated with one of their visits. I could click the view link to open that statement. A default patient statement will come with the Amazing Charts Practice Management System and that patient statement can be customized during the implementation process. I'm now going to expand the Claim History pane to view the last piece of the patient chart. From the Claim History section, both paper claims and electronic claims can be managed for the patient. They can be printed from here, they can be edited from here, they can be resubmitted, they can be voided, or they can be marked as committed. Thank you very much for your time today viewing the patient detail screen, also known as the patient chart. Thank you.